topic 3.1 using patterns to divide all right so we already know about using patterns to help uh, with multiplying multiples of 10 like adding the zeros what we're going to do today is learn about patterns that can help divide with multiples of 10 all right before we get to the division let's go ahead and review some of this multiplication first let's say a bakery sells muffins to a grocery store and they sell them in boxes and each box holds 20 muffins okay in each box so if they were needing 60 muffins how many boxes would they need right if they needed 60 muffins that would be three boxes, each of those boxes having 20 muffins, right? Well, what if they needed 600 muffins? Well, that's just 10 more, 10 times more than what you had before, right? So if you needed 600 muffins, that would be 30 boxes. You see what's happening here? If you multiply by 10 or add a zero here, you're going to end up adding a zero for here. So if they were needing 6,000 muffins with 20 muffins per box, that would mean they would have 300 boxes because you're adding another zero on there from the 60 to get that. It's simple arithmetic there, simple times. So if you have 3 times the 20, that's going to get you 60. 3 times the 200, that's going to get you 600. And then 3 times the 2,000, with three zeros, that's going to get you 6,000. So pay attention to this. Let's just say we have 210 divided by 30. Well, that is just... 10 times more than 3 going into 21, right? All you're doing is, on this one right here, is multiplying both sides by 10, 10 more. So you'll have the same answer. This one is just uh, 10 times more. So you can say that 3 goes into 21 7 times, just like you can say 30 goes into 210 seven times. I like to think that that kind of simplifies things a little bit. Like let's just say 480 divided by 60. Well, if I can get rid of a zero in here, I can also do the same thing over here and just look at it as if it is 48 divided by 6 and that would get me 8. 6 goes into 48 8 times, just as 60 would go into 480 8 times. It's just easier to solve when you're able to cancel out those zeros on both sides. Let's try a couple more. Let's say 2,000 divided by 20. Well, I can look at this and go ahead and cancel out a zero here and a zero there. And then I would easily be able to say that 2 goes into 200 100 times. That would be the same as saying 20 goes into 2,000 100 times. But when you're able to cancel a zero out, on the divisor and the dividend, it makes it a little bit simpler to figure out the answer. How about a problem like this? Let's say 30,000 divided by something equals 600. I know there's going to be a 5 in there somewhere, right? Because the 6 times the 5 is 30. But we have to take care of these zeros. So let's just say 600 times 5, that's going to get me 
30 plus the two zeros that were right there. Oh, here we need four zeros. So how about if I just said 600 times 50? Would that equal 30,000? Let's see, 6 times the 5 would be 30, plus the 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 0 there, and a 0 there. That would get me my zeros there. So yes, 30,000 divided by 50 equals to 600. I don't know. Let's try another one of those, huh? Let's say 56,000 divided by something equals 800. Okay, so we're dealing with 8 and 56. I know there's a 7 in there, right? Because 7 times 8, 7 times that 8 is going to give me 56. But let's just kind of look at this. So 7 times 800 is going to give me, what, 56 plus 2 zeros. So I am need a total of 3 zeros here. So we're going to have to have a 70 times 800 to get that 56,000. So we're thinking that 56,000 divided by 70 is going to be 800. We can check that by multiplying these together here. The 7 times the 8 is going to get me 56, plus a 0 here, 2 zeros here, total of 3 zeros, 56,000. That matches right there. Anytime you need to pause this and review any of these problems, you need to do that before you submit your answers. Let's try 25,000 divided by 50 equals something. Well, we've got the 5 goes into 25 five times. And then we can cancel this zero out with this zero. We're left with two zeros. So we should have an answer of 5. We can check this answer by doing 50 times 500. Let's try that. 5 times 5 is 25, plus 2 zeros here, 1 zero there, 3 zeros total. That matches that. Perfect. All right, let's go ahead and try a few over here on your own here. And... Make sure you double check before you submit. You got just the right number of zeros. I'll see you in the morning.